Lucknow Metro is a rapid transit system serving the city of Lucknow in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Construction of the line began on 27 September 2014 with the 8.5 km 5 .3 miles stretch from Transport Nagar to Sharba Railway Station which began its commercial operation on 5 September 2017, making it the fastest built metro rail system in the country. The Lucknow Metro project is the most expensive transport system in Uttar Pradesh to date with an estimated total cost for Phase 1A red line and 1B blue line of about $2 billion, of which 6,928 crore rupees $960 million is being spent on Phase 1A. The Uttar Pradesh Metro Rail Corporation, a 50-50 joint venture between the Government of India and the Government of Uttar Pradesh, was established to build and operate the metro. Once completed, the Lucknow Metro will have two lines, 1A and 1B, the longer red north-south line, running from airport to Munshi Pulia with a total length of 22.878 kilometers, 14.216 miles, and the blue east -west line, running from Sharba Railway Station to Vasant Kunj. Sharba Railway Station will serve as the junction station between the two lines. Further, Metro Phase 2 and 3 will consist of six lines of 74 km. Phase 2 will be of three lines from IIM Lucknow to Rajajipuram, Indira Nagar to CG City and CG City to CCS International Airport. Phase 3 will be of three lines from Munshapulia to Jankapuram, Sharba to SGPGI and Sashivalaya to CG City. Phase 4 will further see Metro expanding to outer areas and to satellite towns. Topic history The original design of the Metro project included one north-south and one east-west corridor, with links through Gomti Nagar. Estimated costs for the north-south corridor were 5,413 crore rupees equivalent to 79 billion rupees or 1.1 billion dollars in 2017, 3,611 crore rupees equivalent to 53 billion rupees or 740 million dollars in 2017 for the east-west corridor and 495 crore rupees equivalent to 700 26 crore rupees or 100 million dollars in 2017 for the link through Gomti Nagar. The initial layout of the east west corridor started from Rajajipuram and ended at Haniman, after passing through Gomti Nagar via Hazratganj and Patrakarpuram, a distance of 14 kilometres. However, in 2010 the design was changed so the corridor started from Vasant Kunj and terminated at Sharba, a revised distance of 13 km 8 .1 miles. .A revised east-west corridor would have connected the Lucknow railway station at Sharba to Vasant Kunj on Hardoi Road and have a total length of 11 km 6 .8 miles, including 4.29 km elevated 2.67 7 miles 0.5 kilometers ramp 0.31 miles and 6.3 kilometers underground 3.9 miles once completed the corridor would have 12 stations, 7 underground, Lucknow Railway Station Sharba, Gautam Budh Marg, Aminabad, Pandaganj, Chhatrapati Shahuji Maharaj Medical University King George Medical University and Niwazganj, and 5 elevated, Thakurganj, Balaganj, Sarfarazganj, Musa Bagh and the terminus at Vasant Kunj. The design of North-South Corridor had two elevated sections, with a total distance of 19 km 12 miles, separated by a 3 km tunnel 1.9 miles. The length of the ramps between the elevated and below ground sections would total 0.8 km 0.50 miles. 
When completed, the corridor would run for a total distance of 23 kilometers (14 miles) and connect Amousi Airport to Munshapulia. Passengers would be served by a total of 22 stations, with 19 elevated and 3 below ground. Elevated stations were to be located at Chaudhry Sharan Singh Airport, Amousi, Transport Nagar, Krishna Nagar, Sringar Nagar, Alamba, ISBT, Mawaya, Durgapuri, Sharba. Following Sharba station, the line descends underground where Hussain Ganj, Sashivalaya Uttar Pradesh Secretariat and Hazratganj stations are located. The line then returns above ground for the remaining stations of the corridor, KD Singh Babu Stadium, Lucknow University, IT College, Badshanagar, Lekraj Market, Ramsagar Mishra Nagar, Indira Nagar and the terminus at Munshi Pulia. For the Gomti Nagar link, the train coming from the airport terminal was to be diverted towards Gomti Nagar at the Indira Nagar Trisection Polytechnic crossing along an elevated route. The planned stations were Indira Nagar Trisection, West End Mall, Waves Multiplex, Gomti Nagar, and Patrakarpuram. The metro could accommodate speeds up to 90 km per hour, 56 miles per hour, but the typical usage would be at speeds of 34 km per hour, 21 miles per hour for the north-south corridor and 32 km per hour, 20 miles per hour for the east-west corridor. Originally, the metro trains were to be housed in one of two depots, a 20 hectares 49 acres depot at Vasant Kunj and another at the airport, but due to security concerns the airport depot was removed from the plan. In 2013, a report published by the Department of Housing and Urban Planning of the Government of Uttar Pradesh resulted in major changes to the metro project. The two-corridor design was scrapped and replaced with one featuring a denser network of connectivity. This revision resulted in the layout of route being entirely elevated with no underground sections. The increased coverage of the metro would raise the cost of the project but reduced the operating cost per kilometer. The reduction in operating cost is impacted by the difference in construction costs of the line itself. One kilometer of overhead track costs 180 crore rupees, 25 million dollars, as compared to 550 crore rupees, 77 million dollars, for an underground track. The underground design also raised concerns about safety as well as increased energy consumption. The report also proposed the construction of an elevated bus rapid transit system BRTS as a feeder service to the metro. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Project timeline. September 2008, DMRC submits a concept paper after the Lucknow Metro Rail project is proposed by the Government of Uttar Pradesh. October 2008, the project is cleared by Lucknow Development Authority LDA. February 2009, an agreement is signed between DMRC and LDA. June 2009, a Bangalore-based company hired by DMRC studies traffic pattern of Lucknow. July 2009, geotechnical survey initiated by DMRC. April 2010, traffic and transportation report is submitted by DMRC. May 2010, DMRC and a committee headed by the Government of Uttar Pradesh Chief Secretary start consultation process related to traffic issues. June 2010, DMRC submits the route alignment plan. The Lucknow Divisional Commissioner is asked to coordinate with the concerned departments. August 2010, DMRC presents detailed route plan. September 2010, the committee headed by the Divisional Commissioner consults DMRC on the route once again. 
July 2011, a detailed project report DPR is submitted. June 2013, the State Cabinet headed by Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav gives clearance for the Metro Rail Network. The State Cabinet also gave approval for the creation of Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation. August 2013, Government of Uttar Pradesh approves the revised detailed project report DPR submitted by DMRC. October 2013, LMRC, a special purpose vehicle SPV, is formed by the Government of Uttar Pradesh to build and operate the Lucknow Metro. The SPV is incorporated under the Companies Act, 1956 on 25 November 2013. Construction phase to begin in December. November 2013, DMRC submits tender for Lucknow Metro work, promises to complete the first phase by February 2017. December 2013, Government of India, in principle, approves the project. February 2014, E. Sridharan appointed as the principal advisor of Lucknow Metro. March 2014, foundation stone laid for Lucknow Metro project. The 10th of July 2014, 100 crore rupees, equivalent to 114 crore rupees or 16 million dollars in 2017, set aside for Lucknow Metro in the union budget by Minister of Finance Arun Jaitley. The 27th of September 2014, construction begins on the Lucknow Metro. The 6th of August 2015, Lucknow Metro receives clearance from Public Investment Board (PIB) of Government of India. The 22nd of December 2015, Union Cabinet approves construction of rail project Phase 1A. The 30th of March 2016, to speed up clearance processes for Lucknow Metro, LMRC becomes a 50 to 50 joint venture between the Government of India and the Government of Uttar Pradesh. As a result, the LMRC board is reconstituted with five nominee directors being nominated by both Government of India and Government of Uttar Pradesh each, apart from the three full-time directors. Additionally, the Chief Secretary of Uttar Pradesh is replaced by the Union Urban Development Secretary as the ex officio chairman of LMRC. The 18th of September 2016 to 90% of the work completed in the construction of rail project Phase 1A. The 20th of October 2016, Lucknow Metro begins work on Faizabad Road, does Bhumi Puja for Phase 1A extension. The 1st of December 2016, the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav and Samajwadi Party Chief Mulayam Singh flagged off the train at the Transport Nagar Depot on a trial run on Priority Section till the Alamba Station. The inaugural ride was piloted by two women. The 20th of June 2017, 5th Metro train set arrives at Transport Nagar Depot. The 8th of July 2017, 6th and final Metro train set arrives for first phase requirement. 27 to 28 July 2017 the commissioner of railway safety CMRS performs on-site inspection to confirm readiness of the metro for service the 29th of August 2017 inauguration ceremony on the 5th of September 2017 confirmed announcement that metro trains will run between transport nagar and sharba 5 September 2017, Minister of Home Affairs and Member of Parliament for Lucknow, Rajnath Singh and Chief Minister, Yogi Adityanath inaugurate Lucknow Metro for service between Transport Nagar and Sharba Railway Station. Status <laughs> 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 <laughs>
The collection of soil samples for Metro construction began on 3 August 2009, and was completed by September. The report, released in October, concluded that the soil condition was suitable for the Metro Rail. However, due to design changes proposed by the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation in 2010, it was not until February 2013 that the Metro project was announced. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister, Akhilesh Yadav, approved the project in the same month but no state funding for the project was allocated as it was expected the project would be funded by a public private partnership. A committee headed by Uttar Pradesh Chief Secretary, Alec Ranjan, oversaw the initial stages of development of the project. In May 2013, the Japan International Cooperation Agency offered financial assistance to the government of Uttar Pradesh for the Metro Rail project. Topic phase 1A of North-South Corridor Phase 1A comprises one underground metro station CCS International Airport, nine elevated metro stations Amausi, Transport Nagar, Krishna Nagar, Singar Nagar, Alamba, Alamba Bus Station, Mawaya, Durgapuri, Sharba Railway Station and three underground metro stations Hussain Ganj, Secretariat and Hazratganj of North South Corridor. Construction on the Lucknow Metro began on 27 September 2014. April 2015, work of placing of caps on pillars started. The placing of U girders began in May 2015. Northern Railways in August cleared the hurdles coming in the way of construction of Lucknow Metro and allowed it to work in Mawaya. December 2015, approximately 56% of the civil work had been completed April 2016, 80% of construction work completed. October 2016, LMRC's Managing Director, Kumar Keshev was awarded Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial Award for Innovation in Governance. Later in a speech, he said, no other metro project has even been able to achieve this feat in the past as compared with Lucknow Metro's speed of deliverance in the country. November 2016, four coaches of the first train set arrived at the Transport Nagar Depot on 20 November 2016. LMRC achieved another major milestone when the company succeeded in getting the delivery of the first Metro train set in just 64 weeks after placing the order. The 1st of December 2016, the first trial runs on the first line of Lucknow Metro Transport Nagar to Alamba as the special span over railway underpass was not completed then was performed. 5 September 2017, services opened for general public from Transport Nagar to Sharba Railway Station. December 2017, breakthrough of tunnel work from Hussain Ganj to Hazratganj completed. December 2018, Phase 1A underground section to start from April 2019. Phase 1A extension of North-South Corridor Phase 1A extension comprises eight metro stations all elevated to be constructed on North-South Corridor. The eight stations are K.D. Singh Stadium, Vishwadhyalaya, IT College, Badshah Nagar, Lekraj Market, R.S. Mishra Nagar, Indira Nagar and Munshapulia. October 2016, Lucknow Metro team started working on the Metro Corridor from KD Singh Babu Stadium to Munshapulia from October 19 after the managing director and other officials performed Bhumi Puja on Faizabad Road in front of HAL. The Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation LMRC said that the 22.878 kilometers 14.216 miles of the north-south corridor would be completed by March 2019. November 2018, 95% civil work done.
line to be inaugurated by Jan 2019. December 2018, Phase 1A extension section to start from April 2019. East-West Corridor Planned East-West Corridor Blue Line consists of 12 metro stations starting from Sharba Metro Station to Vasant Kunj Metro Station with a total distance of 11.098 km. November 2018, work yet to start on East-West Corridor. Routes The routes for the running of the metro rail are as given below. Topic: <inaudible> Red Line. The Red Line was the first line of the metro to be opened and connects Transport Nagar in the south to Sharba in the central Lucknow. The line covering distance of 22.87 kilometers, 14.21 miles, is being extended to Munshi Pulia. It is partly elevated and underground. Topic: <inaudible> Blue Line. Blue Line is a proposed metro route of mass rapid transit system in Lucknow. It consists of 12 metro stations from Lucknow Sharba Railway Station to Vasant Kunj with a total distance of 11.098 km Funding for Lucknow Metro Over 50% of the Lucknow Metro Rail project is funded through external debt from European Investment Bank. The Lucknow Metro has its own operating body. The Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation is a special purpose vehicle (SPV) and a 50 to 50 joint venture set up by the Indian and Uttar Pradesh governments. LMRC is headquartered in Vipin Khand, Gomti Nagar, Lucknow. Topic: Infrastructure. Topic: Rolling stock. On 5 October 2015, Alstom was awarded a 1,102 crore rupees equivalent to 12 billion rupees, 160 million dollars or 140 million euros in 2017 contract to construct 24 car electric multiple units for Phase 1A, based on their metropolis design. The vehicles are to be constructed at Alstom's factory in Srisati. The vehicles will have capacity for up to 1310 passengers, and are to be fitted out with longitudinal seating, closed circuit television, CCTV, a dedicated FM radio station for safety and onboard entertainment. Power will be provided by the 25 kV AC overhead wires. The trains will use Alstom's Herbalis signaling system for communications-based train control CBTC to maintain a 100-second gap between each train. The vehicles will have a golden livery and be decorated with images of notable Lucknow monuments including the Bara Imambara, the Asifi Mosque and the Rumi Gate. Station facilities Wi-Fi is available at each station with free access for smart card holders. Other services include free purified drinking water and free toilets. The North South Corridor of the Lucknow Metro uses an automated fare collection system, provided by Datamatics. Topic Operation
Topic: Phase 1A. Trial runs of Phase 1A began in December 2016, with the line being inaugurated on 5 September 2017 by Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister, Yogi Adityanath, Home Minister Rajnath Singh and Uttar Pradesh Governor, Ram Naik on 5 September 2017. The line between Transport Nagar and Sharba Railway Station opened for service to the public on 6 September 2017. <laughs> Phase 1A extension CCS International Airport to Transport Nagar and Sharba Railway Station to Munshi Pulia will be completed by March 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Security Lucknow Metro's security is based on a hybrid model. The Uttar Pradesh Provincial Armed Constabulary UP -PAC, or Just PAC, which has raised a dedicated squad of 393 personnel for this purpose, provides general security, which includes frisking, scanning, maintaining and having quick response teams QRT as per security norms, while a private security agency provides operational security, which including maintaining hygiene of the station and ensuring that people queue properly. Personnel from the PAC were especially trained for providing security by the Central Industrial Security Force in New Delhi. Apart from this, closed circuit television cameras and metal detectors are installed at every metro station. Ticketing and recharge Topic. Ridership The cumulative ridership of the Metro Rail in Lucknow crossed 10 lakh 1 million in the first 70 days of commercial operation. The rapid transit system received 31,688 passengers on its inaugural day of services, the and recorded a ridership of 41,075 on 10 September. As of June 2018, the daily ridership of Lucknow Metro ranges between 10,000 and 11,000, with monthly ridership being 4.8 lakh in September 2017, 4 lakh in October 2017, 3 lakh in November and December 2017, and around 3 lakh in January, February, March and April 2018. In popular culture In January 2017, Hindi film Bayan Hoagi Terry became the first film to shoot scenes on the Metro premises. Topic awards Lucknow Metro was awarded second place for Best Metro for Excellence in Innovative Designs at 5th Annual Metro Rail Summit in New Delhi behind the Delhi Metro. It competed against the other metro projects of the country like Mumbai Metro, Jaipur Metro etc. Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation LMRC was awarded the European Society for Quality Research ESQR Choice Prize Award 2016 under the Gold category, a Vanity Award. Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation won the Dun & Bradstreet Infra Award in 2017. See also